production is influenced by many factors, including the environment. But genetics is the primary influence that affects whether one cow produces more or less milk than others. Genetic characteristics are responsible for creating the potential for a cow to produce high milk yields, while the environment allows or inhibits these predispositions to reach their full potential. Environmental factors like diet, sanitation, and weather clearly play a role in a cow's ability to maximum milk production, but genetics lays the foundation for a cow to show these different traits for which they are coded. Dairy cows mature and start to ovulate at different ages depending on their nutrition and environment. On average, a Holstein heifer usually reaches puberty about 9 to 10 months of age. The age of puberty in turn determines the age that the heifer is bred and therefore when she will start producing milk. Body condition, which determines how much milk a cow can produce, is highly genetically influenced. Body condition scores ranging from 1 to 5 describe the amount of fat and muscling that a cow has relative to her frame size. Body condition is assessed by looking at the pins and hooks, the ribs, <laughs> the vertebrae, <laughs> and the tail end. In one study, it was found that cows with a body condition score in the mid-ranges of about 3 to 4 had a significantly higher milk yield than did cows with low or extremely high body condition scores. Genetic factors such as the balance between lipolysis and lipogenesis or the breakdown and formation of fat tissue, non-esterified fatty acid mobilization, regulation of certain hormones such as leptin, insulin, and growth hormone, and overall rate of metabolism play a major role in determining whether or not the cow can reach and maintain an optimal body condition for milk production. The utter conformation of a cow is also significantly influential in milk production. In a study done on the heritability of multiple different udder traits, including teat placement, height and width of udder attachment, udder depth, <laughs> and median suspensory ligament strength, it was found that front teat placement and udder depth were the most heritable. This, this implies that these traits may have had the greatest number of genes influencing them, since generally the more genes that affect a trait, the more heritable the trait is. In a cow's lifetime, maximum production is generally met around the eighth year of the cow's life. The milk yield will increase up until that point and then decrease after every lactation cycle. During a lactation cycle, maximum milk production depends heavily upon the natural production level of the cow. High producing cows will take longer than lower producers to peak. However, the average is around day 30 after parturition. The cow will produce this level of milk and then gradually drop for the remaining period of her lactation. This monitor shows the total milk yield in pounds for this milking, as well as the cow's identification number. A cow's genome is essential to her milk composition. There are many different single nucleotide polymorphisms that determine the fat and protein percentage, total fat and protein yield, and overall milk yield in dairy cows making heritability extremely complex. Selection for fat and protein content in milk is both possible and valuable in order to optimize palatability and nutrition in milk. In conclusion, genetics plays a foundational role in the quantity of milk different cows produce. It influences the overall capacity to produce high milk yields, susceptibility to disease, and fundamental body types and makeup, which all play a major role in the production of milk. While environmental factors are also present, they play a secondary role in either enhancing or detracting from a cow's basic genetic potential to be a high milk producer. Selective breeding in dairy cows has become very popular because genetics has shown that milk production can be selected for. <laughs> Thanks to scientific advancement, people, <laughs> people are able to breed only the cows that make the most milk, thus creating offspring that also have the potential to achieve a high milk production. This, along with controls for environmental factors, has transformed the dairy industry because cows produce more and better milk, so now farmers need fewer cows to achieve the same production. Genetics and research scientists have positively influenced an industry that has existed for generations, and their work in the laboratory has improved milk quantity and quality, not only for farmers, but for the general population as well.
capacity to produce high milk yields. Success. <laughs> Action.